Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Sierra and this is my first video. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. This video is kind of a mix of a get ready with me slash vlog of the last part of my day. This is like right after I did all of this stuff that's gonna be in the video. So enjoy the video and I'm sorry, it's my first video and my first time editing. So enjoy it, bye. Hello. Today, we're gonna be driving around because I just got off work and my dad called me and told me to not come home for a while. Anyways, I don't know. Uh, this is gonna be like kind of a fun channel. I'm not gonna be like taking this super, super seriously, but let's drive around. Okay, it's gonna be a fun time. And since I'm recording this on my phone, we're gonna have to listen to tunes on the radio, which is gonna be weird, so. This is bad already. Ooh, middle child? That's how I like it, you all on my We're gonna go drive. Oh God. I'm parked in a park right now. It's weird because the way that you pull out of this park just makes me uncomfortable. I hope this is legal. Is this legal? I don't know. Hopefully it is. I almost got hit. I don't really know what to talk about because I'm driving and I'm trying to maintain another road. <laughs> oh, I heard a lot of people like saying that they wanted to know my music playlist and like how that goes. I, or what I listen to. I listen to a lot of punk rock music and like indie also listen to rap and kind of all over the place. Uh, a couple bands that I like are see, The Story So Far, Knuckle Puck, um, Neck Deep, they're really good. It's freaking cold in my car, oh my gosh. The 1975, they have like three good songs that I listen to. Some people have said that they want me to show like how I get ready, so we might do that when I get home. I already got ready. Maybe I'll just show you how I do my hair or something because it's in a braid right now and it doesn't look that good but it's fine I'm so sorry I have to listen to this right now this is why I hate the radio this is also why I need a camera because recording on your phone is really hard this is so shaky this isn't good this road sucks for this I'm so sorry I'm literally just driving home because I'm hoping that it's gonna be fine by the time I get there I'm excited because I finally got my Ipsy package and I'll, I'll explain to you guys what Ipsy is. So basically it's um, a monthly subscription, it costs $10 and it's a, it's a bunch of little beauty products, like you get five beauty products and they're just little samples of course but like, you know what, I'm gonna go get coffee guys, I'm gonna go get coffee, I'm sorry, I just think out loud a lot. I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, Ipsy. I order it like every month. It just automatically takes it out of my checking account every month. Um, but last month, my I didn't like have that much money, so I was trying to wait to pay for it, and then it took the money out of my account like Valentine's Day, and then I didn't end up getting like I didn't end up getting my February package. So I was really upset. I emailed them about it and then they said that they couldn't receive the email because nobody like works in that department, which doesn't make sense. I was on the phone with my dad. He said that my Ipsy package came for this month. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> I'm really excited about this month. I wanna see if it's more of a spring feel. Spring is coming up. Not in Utah. It literally poured snow yesterday for absolutely no reason. Also, this is gonna be really awkward because I'm vlogging right now and also my windows don't work. One second. Oh my god. Oof! I almost ran into the wall. Sorry, my window's broken. <laughs> oh, she just told me to drive safe. That's so sweet. The road next to my house is so busy, it makes me want to die. I don't, well, I shouldn't die. I have a lot of stuff to do. 
And that kind of makes me want to die more. I don't know. Okay, last night, Sean and I, Sean is my boyfriend, by the way, um, we were driving home from bowling, from bowling alley, and we were sitting out a light, and then the person behind me, like, gave me a little love tap, you know, like, hit the back of my car. It freaked me out, because I thought I, like, slammed my brakes super hard, but my brakes were already, like, pushed down all the way, and... <laughs> I dealt with it so weird because I get out of the car and I'm like, oh my god, it's okay. Like, I just was like, fine with it. And then Sean was like, okay, there. If, what if there was like real damage? Like, you probably would have been so pissed. But I don't know, the girl who hit me was really sweet and there literally was nothing. Like, not even my paint, my matte black paint. Because that's what color my car is. It's a 2002 Hyundai Accent, okay guys? Flexing on the haters. I was really cool about it, and I, I gave her a hug because it, she felt really bad. I have never tried this before, so we're gonna see. I also have another James and Burr's drink in here from yesterday. Oh, that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to freaking edit the crap out of this, dude. I wanna go park somewhere just so I can talk. Oh, basically, I forgot what I was saying. Mm. I think I remember what I was saying. No, I don't. I went to Walmart to pick up my breakfast stuff for next week. Bought these for my breakfast next week. I don't actually know what they taste like, but my mom said that they're really good. Bre breakfast sandwiches. And they have 14 grams of whole grain. That's good. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Naked, but I got the strawberry banana ones. And they they come in like little four packs. You can get the strawberry banana ones or the mango machine. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. Like six dollars in the four pack. Folks, I need some help mentally. Just kidding. I go to therapy. So we're gonna go home now. I actually don't smoke. I have asthma. Twenty one Savage. I like the background of this. Yeah. Like the singing in the background? <sighs> I don't know. I remember I was talking about a couple minutes now. I was at Walmart and I was getting my healthy stuff. And there were Girl Scouts outside. And they had like their little signs and stuff. And they were being so cute. And then I was like, oh my god, of course I'm going to go buy freaking Girl Scout cookies. Hello. And so I go up to them and I'm like, oh. Of course I'm gonna buy some Girl Scout cookies and the girls were so excited. Got the tag along and then of course the classic Samoas. Like who doesn't love these? So I just got home, got inside. My Ipsy package is here. Very cute. Oh, and I got something from my college that I'm gonna be going to. I'm gonna be going to the University of Utah. For my subscribers who live in Utah, you know where that is. But everybody else, doesn't really matter. Because you wouldn't know. But we're going to go downstairs. I'm in my bathroom right now. Because I'm going to be showing you guys like what I do to get ready. Oh, but I'm going to go open my AMC package for you guys. Okay, so like I said, they come in these pretty packages every month. I'm just gonna open this up. Get off of my finger. This part won't get. It it's still staying. Okay. They sent me last month's. I think they sent me last month. This was the theme for last month because it was Valentine's Day. That's fine because that means I'm gonna get mine this month as well. So let's see what we got. Okay. Looks like. A Luxie Beauty brush. It's very pretty. Um, it's like a very pretty rose gold color. And the brush quality. I don't know if it's going to focus. Very pretty. Um, anyways, that's exciting. Next item is Lash Alert Mascara Wake Up and Go by Ico London. That looks like it might be fun. The brush is a little weird. Strong sense of paint. That's fine. We got Glow 2 Highlighter by 
I'm gonna butcher that. It's that company, Shisiate. I don't know. This comes in like this plastic wrap. I cannot get this open. If I were to like put it on my nose, like you can see that. Yeah. Very pretty. I like that quite a bit. Let's see what else we got. Hannah Lee lip treatment in peach pink. This is what it looks like. Just a little, little vial of stuff. Um, I don't really know what you're supposed to do. Oh God, it just popped out. It's like, that's the consistency. Maybe it's one of those plumping ones. Um, and then we have one more thing. It's called the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer by Koki Professional. It's a cute little thing. Koki means elephant in Korean. Elephant brand. Nice. Okay, but that's last month's package. So hopefully I get this month soon. This is a really cute package though. <laughs> I literally have the hiccups right now. I'm so sorry. Oh no. That was painful. Oh, it's not even a lip treatment. I think it's like... One of those ones that reacts to your natural pH. We're just gonna wipe that off, especially since I take off all my makeup. So I can show you guys how I get ready. I'm thinking about it and I don't really wanna do that. So I'm just gonna do like touch up that I do during the day. I use a bunch of products. I use um, the Clean and Clear Lemon Exfoliating Slices. They just came out with this stuff. They're kind of like those cotton pads, but they're in the shape of a lemon. So I'm just gonna wipe away the dirt from the day. And it's also really great because you can use these for like cleaning your face at night too. I do that a lot of times because I'm lazy. I just took off my moisturizer, that's what that color is. I don't wear any foundation or anything. And I let that dry for a second. Um, and then I use the Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray. I just recently picked this up from Ulta Beauty. Before I was using the Garnier Skin Active Soothing Face Mist, which is also a rose water. I mean, it's okay. It definitely mists better, but it's a smaller bottle. And just for 4.4 fluid ounces, which is what this is, is $6, I want to say. And I got this whole 8 ounce for 12 from Ulta. The only thing that I don't like about the Mario Badescu is that it kind of sprays in thicker droplets than I want it to. So when you spray it on your face, you actually have to rub it in versus Garnier Skin Active, which I can just spray on and it dries down just fine. So I'm going to spray this on really quick. Okay, so it smells really good. It reminds me of my great grandma and I love her. She's 95 years old and she lives alone and she's blind. So she's actually a god. So I'm gonna take off the makeup that's on my eyebrows and I'm gonna show you guys how I do my eyebrows. I have naturally bushy eyebrows. I don't necessarily need to do a lot to make my eyebrows look good. So what I use to remove my makeup is the Micellar Cleansing Water by Garnier. I use the blue one because this one really removes waterproof mascara and I Actually, I'm not using waterproof mascara right now, but in general, I usually do. So, I'm already just taking off some, and you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. Unless I told you. This is, this is my natural eyebrow right here. All those people wondering why I have such natural, like, good eyebrows. Like, I don't know. I just take care of them good. I don't know. Then I just use, like, little cotton pads. I got these from Costco. Skincare. I know that's a big thing. A lot of my friends wonder how I keep my face so clean. I don't really know. Um, I just, I've never really had bad acne. And when I do break out, it's just like small bumps. Like I kind of have a breakout right now. You literally can't see it, but I can. These are my natural eyebrows. I'm just gonna brush them out for you. Honestly, I don't really need to, but it just is nice to put on makeup. I mean, it looks good like this. I could go out like this and I'd be just fine. I like to do my makeup naturally because I don't like to pound it on really there will be times when I like to use like eyeliner or something the mascara that I'm wearing right now is the falsies push-up drama by Maybelline I shop at the drugstore for my mascara I actually use a primer for my lashes as well so I use the voluminous lash paradise primer base by L'Oreal Paris 
It's like this pinky white kind of stuff, like, and then you just apply that to your lashes before you put on your mascara. I kind of go through brow stuff a lot because I'm trying to find what's really good for me. But anyway, so right now I'm actually using the L'Oreal Paris Brow Stylist Shape and Fill. So it comes like this. Um, I get like one of the darkest shades. My eyebrows are actually like naturally black and my hair is brown, so I try to balance it out with a darker brown so it, it doesn't look that different. Brush them out a little bit. I just use a little mirror. I'm gonna do it this way. I do a little bit of shading on the bottom there. And then I kind of bring it up over here just because like I have some, I have like a bald spot like right there. And that's kind of what shapes your eyebrow. So I kind of fill it in right there. I don't know. I, I don't really need it, but like you can't really see it. But it comes in a triangle shape. So it's kind of hard to get the perfect stroke. And that's why that turned out so bad. I'm just going to do the other eyebrow now. Mm. Wow. That looks so good. Next what I do is I use CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Shape and Define Gel. So I just kind of go over it lightly because it just settles the brow down. Um, anyway, so I use Q-tips and the micellar water that I showed you before to get rid of all the excess pigmentation that I don't need. Great. This is gonna be such an, a pain in the butt to edit. Yep. That brow's still longer than that one. Oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot I had coffee. If they don't look good, I'm not leaving the house. Okay, they look good now. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to what I do for my skin. So actually I'm gonna spray more rose water spray on because I like to apply my moisturizer right after I put on this. Whew. Um, For moisturizer I'm using the Garnier Skin Active Glow Boost Im Illuminating Moisturizer. It is this big okay, so i use about this much just a little smidge so then i just rub it between my fingers and i apply it so the highlighter that i've been like addicted to recently is the sienna's highlight by catherine natural cosmetics they're a cruelty free paraben free and gluten free makeup company it's really dirty <laughs> but um it's a really pretty highlight since we just got a brand new highlight, let's try that one. And I actually use a beauty, well, a wannabe beauty blender to put on my highlight. I just recently picked up a mini one from Ulta in a two pack. It's kind of cute little guy. And I spray my rose water spray on the beauty blender, as you would if you were putting on foundation or concealer. Uh, but I use it for highlight. I just rub some, that's nicely pigmented like that. Um, and then I just kind of like tap it onto where I want it. And then I put it on my nose. You can already see that? Yeah, it's nice. Whoa, okay. And of course the Cupid's bow. And then I do the same to the other side. Blend it into my cheek. And I kind of just like having that one section that's highlighted right there. Blend in the highlight. We love a snatched highlight. Literally just thought I saw someone standing, like, outside my bathroom door. And then that's basically what I do for makeup every day. So now I'm gonna do my hair, and I'm kind of feeling pearls today. It would be a good idea if I freaking turn on my curling iron first, hello. So I just use this, like, thick, it's a thicker one. My hair's really thick and long, so I use, like, thicker curls. I think it looks better. And I actually do have like a heat treatment that I kind of do sometimes. I always forget about it. It's not really a good thing. So I turn it up all the way to 410 is the temperature that makes my hair curl. So we're going to let that warm up. Okay, so anyways, I just brush out my hair. And then it's CHI44 Iron Guard Thermal Protection Spray. And it looks like this. And I just kind of spray it. So this is kind of a hair hack, if you will. This video is such a mess. I pull all my hair into a high ponytail. This. Ah. Take like a piece of hair, but I start it like this, and then I kind of, I leave the end straight because then it creates those curls that everybody's raving about right now. Okay, so that's how I curl. 
my hair and then I'll just show you what I do after this step. Just shake it all out. A comb like this with a pointy thing at the end. I don't know what it's called. Don't judge me. I'm just kidding. Judge me. Give me positive feedback, guys. This is what it looks like right now. Definitely looks good. So I just take like up to that point on my head. I don't really know what that's called. Probably like two inches back from my from where my hair stops and then I kind of just take whatever piece I have right there and I curl it. I have a very fat face, guys. That's why I like to wear my hair down and not pulled back all the time. Um, so this is what it looks like right now. After I do all of that, then I take Aussie Instant Freeze Hairspray 24 Hour Extreme Hold. Before I put on the hairspray, I like to use Argan Oil of Morocco. It's like weightless healing. Dry oil. I just burped, by the way. Nice. That adds like a lot of shine to my hair. Like a natural oil that's really good for your hair, actually. It looks a lot sleeker and it prevents it from getting all staticky. Like, I don't know about you guys, but my hair gets extremely staticky whenever I put anything on it. So then I kind of just take this, I flip my hair upside down, you know, just kind of spray it all over. Bit in the back, a little bit in the front. There we go. Okay. After I do that, the process is basically complete and then I kind of just run my fingers through it so it doesn't look too reform and perfect and pretty and proper because that's not what it's about ladies and gentlemen it's about doing your hair the way you like so that's how I do my hair I'm gonna stop the video there I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this really long weird video that I filmed today I need recommendations so if you guys want to comment below maybe I'll do a Q&A definitely follow me on social media and then I'll put all my other social media handles in the description or something. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, be sure to leave a thumbs up <laughs> and uh, subscribe because there's gonna be some pretty crappy content coming. Be excited. Be thrilled. That's gonna be it from me. Cheers and have a great day.